My name is Estelle Brink of Jericho Wars International Prayer Network. Earlier this year, God spoke to us as a team about a special time of prayer from the 2nd to the 22nd of February this year. As we waited on Him, He began to reveal some of what we now understand coming from the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 22, and also chapter 5, verse 11 and 12. Over the next 21 days, from the 2nd to the 22nd of February, we will focus in prayer on specifically characteristics from the prayer life of Daniel and how that applies to us as leaders, individuals, as well as our nation. As an introduction for today, we will focus in preparing our hearts to pray for ourselves, like Daniel, to more fully come to know God's will for our own lives and also to have the Spirit of the Lord within us to daily lead and guide us. When we contemplate the state of our personal lives, the nation and the world, it may cause us to question whether or not our prayers make all the difference we thought it would. It causes us to pause and think, what did great men and women in the Bible do that brought significant breakthroughs in their days? How did they face and respond to challenges they encountered in their day? Now it's believed by some scholars that Daniel was about 14 to 16 when he and his friends arrived in exile in Babylon. And he must have been there for at least 70 years when he fasted and prayed for the return of Israel to their homeland. Nowhere does it ever say that Daniel permanently returned to Israel himself. This gives us at least one picture of a life of 70 years of dedicated prayer devotion and standing for what is right in a nation practicing idolatry, witchcraft, soothsaying, and much more. Who of us would have remained or stayed put under such circumstances in the corporate world today? Making such a difference that history recalls the excellencies of God because of us in the midst. Pondering these hardcore biblical truths leave many of us in this generation ashamed of our conduct and expectations. For Daniel, this meant biblically to detach his heart from everything that entices in this world, and so he had favor with God. Still today, those who have favor with God have access to the power of God. As we embark this 21 days devotion and prayer, won't you allow the Holy Spirit to show you what needs to change in your own life? so you too can become a man and woman who has favor with God, who gives favor with men. Contemplate with me John 3 verse 30 that says, Lord Jesus, you must increase, but I must decrease. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to move our hearts to pray what our Heavenly Father desires to hear, and He will move the things we are praying for. May the Lord bless you.